Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you two ways how to add contact form to your Google site. The first option is by using Google Forms. So all you'll need to do is go onto googleforms.com. Once on that page, you're going to tap on Go to Forms. Then you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, at the top of the page, you're going to see Template Gallery. You are going to tap on that. After selecting template gallery, you can see the option contact, contact information. You could select that. After selecting it, you will be redirected to a new page on which you can start editing it. So all you'll need to do is scroll down. And if you would like to change the name, so let's say I want to change it from contact information to contact form. I can do that by simply tapping on the title right there. And if you would also like to add a description, you can do that by tapping on form description. And if you would like to add a background image to this section, you can also do that by tapping on the fourth icon right here that says add image. And if in the future you would like to add a video or so on to your contact form, you can tap on add video. There is numerous options for editing this form. Then you are going to scroll down and you will see the option name, email address. You can leave those. But if you would like to remove the address section and you don't want to make it compulsory, all you'll need to do is tap on it. Then you'll simply toggle off required. Or if you would like to remove it completely. So let's say I want to remove the phone number question. All I'll have to do is tap on the phone number, then tap on delete. Then if I would like to remove comments, I could simply tap on comments and I could also remove that. Once everything is to your liking, let's say you would like to change the color at the top right here. All you'll need to do is go to the top right hand corner, then tap on customize theme. Once you have tapped on customize theme, from here, you can change the header font. You can also change the font size. If you would like to change the header color right here, you can do that. So let's say instead of it being green, I would like it to be purple. You can see right there. You can also add image to your header. If you would like to add an image, you can do that. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on preview. And you can see how it looks right here. So this is my contact form at the moment. So let's go back. Also, you will be able to see the responses by simply tapping on responses. So you'll see all the responses right here. And if you would like to edit the settings some more, you can tap on settings right here. And you can edit the settings some more. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on send in the top right hand corner. Once you are finished editing your contact form in Google Forms, all you'll need to do now is go back onto Google Sites. And once on Google Sites, you are going to go onto the page that you would like to add the contact form on. Or if you would like to create a new page, by going up to the top right hand corner, you could tap on Pages. Then tap on the plus right here, then select New Page. So let me do that real quick. Then I'll simply type in contact form. So let me do that. So that will be the title of my page. Then I'm going to tap on done. After you have done that, you're going to tap on insert. Then you're going to scroll down until you see forms. You're going to tap on forms. Once you have tapped on forms, you're going to see the form that you had created. So you can see it right here, contact information. You are going to tap on that, then you would select insert. After selecting insert, you can see that it has been added right there. And that's how easy to do it. And again, remember all of the responses will be saved in Google Forms. The second option that I was talking about is by using Jot Forms. And Jot Forms is another platform that you can sign up on for completely free and you'll be able to incorporate it with Google Sites. All you'll need to do is sign up to Jot Forms using your email address. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Then you are going to go to the top menu option 
and you are going to hover over templates and you are going to select form templates after selecting form templates you will be redirected to this page once on this page all you'll need to do is scroll down and pay attention to the left hand menu option then you are going to select contact forms and the reason why you may want to use Jot Forms is because it provides you with over 430 ready-made templates. So instead of using the basic templates from Google Forms, you could use a more eye-catching one from Jot Forms. So let's say, for example, I want to use one of the Jot Form templates like this one right here. All you'll need. And the second option that I would like you to give a try is Jot Form. And Jotform is another platform that you can sign up on for completely free. All you'll need to do is go onto jotform.com, then sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And all you'll need to do is go up to the top menu option, hover over templates, then you're going to select form templates. After selecting form templates, you'll be redirected to this page. And the reason why I recommend Jotform is it offers you numerous professional looking templates for completely free. So you are going to scroll down once you're on this page, then you could select contact forms. After selecting contact forms, you will be redirected to this page and you can see numerous templates that you can choose from. So let's say for example, I would like to use this template. All I would have to do is tap on use template. Once you have tapped on use template, you're going to give it a few seconds and then you're going to be redirected to this page. From here, you can add your company logo if you want and you can also add your organization name. After you have added that information, you're going to scroll down and this is how the form looks. If you would like to make any changes, all you'll need to do is simply tap on the form designer in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you can change the form color, you can change the style, you can also change the layout if you want, as you can see right here. Once you have tapped on publish, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on embed. Then from there, all I want you to do is tap right where you see copy code. After you have copied the code, you are going to go back on Google Sites. And let's say, for example, I want to add it to this page. All I'll need to do is tap on embed from the top right hand corner, then select embed code. Then I'll simply paste the code that I have copied, then tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you are going to see a preview as you can see right there. Then you are going to select edit. After you have selected edit, you can see that the contact form has now been added. And to edit it, all you'll need to do is simply pull it if you would want it to be wider. As you can see right there, you can edit the length so you can see right there. And once everything is there liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish at the top right hand corner and your page will now be live. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.